So a few videos ago, I showed a rough I was doing, and uh, in that video I mentioned that those little teats are only three eighths. And because we're doing half inch sheetrock, I trained to uh, I train and lead the guys to leave a little space when they mount the box, so the boxes end up at a half inch instead of a three eighths. I know the code lets us be in that eighth, but to me, for every box to be set in, and now you're mounting your switches and receptacles to sheetrock, and the ears are holding the weight, it's just a pain in the ass and spongy. If you mount the boxes at half inch, you mount directly to the box, and it's a rugged, good connection, and it's a solid uh, receptacle. Everyone's like, oh, the boxes are going to stick out too far. I'm afraid of the boxes sticking out too far. Well, then don't stick them out too far. <laughs> but anyways, the uh, we have that, that job's been sheetrocked. So let's walk around and see if any boxes ended up too far. So they haven't cleaned out the boxes yet on the switches because they're at four feet. So that, that's where they mud. But uh, this one I did clean out so we could see. See how flush that is? Like, do you know how nice it is to mount your switch directly to a box instead of sheetrock ears? Like, that is perfect. That, you did a good job on that one. Let's look at the rest of them. I doubt they're all going to be that perfect. Maybe a little bit in, usually. This one's maybe, I don't know, I thought that one's pretty flush. Even if they end up sticking out a little bit, it's not a big deal to, to recess the box back in. Like, and to me, to have to recess the box back in every once in a while, which never happens, like I'm exaggerating, like if it happens twice a year, that's a big deal. Um, you know, yeah, so it almost never happened, like two or three times a year would be a big deal. Uh, but if it does stick out too far, you just fix it. I mean, to me, fixing a box every couple months is so much easier than dealing with every single box being too far in and now you're relying on the sheetrock to keep your devices level and tight um, and, and solid. Yeah, you could use spacers, extension rings, cut the view cannons, like it's so much more work. But let's look at one more room. So they haven't um, cleaned out the boxes yet because like I said, four feet's a seam because the four foot sheet, so they mud there. But that one's perfect. Look at that, another perfect one. Good job. This one, perfect. Uh, it's really, I don't know, I'm, try, I'm sorry this is probably like a shaky cam, but it's just hard to show you a whole room with just my phone. That one might need to be cleaned out, possibly. <laughs> Another one, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so there it is. It doesn't take long to, to visualize what that gap is. I, I don't have any empty studs here. I'd show you, but when you squeeze the box and you put your fingers over those teats, you feel, and then you lean, push it against the box, you get a feel for how much of the fat on your skin should be pinched between the stud and that teat to, to get you that extra eighth. But I think it's worth it. I understand why some guys don't want it sticking out so they shade the other way, but I think this is worth it.